we have a very broad coalition, which, according to polls, has the support of 60% uh, of, of the Romanians. On the other side, uh, we have a party which is uh, shrinking and, according to polls, has a support of something like 18%. Uh, Having said this, in the Romanian parliament, uh, there is an artificial situation. Basically, uh, the ruling party has, has, has majority. And that's why Romanian went in the streets in spite of the cold weather. What is happening right now in this room is a normal thing, it is not an exception. The European Parliament represents the citizens and whenever the smallest concern with regard to the rights of the European uh, citizens uh, occurs, we have the obligation to discuss it. Nowhere in this world, in no civilized country, never in the European Union has dialogue been a bad thing. On the contrary, it is the lack of dialogue that is a bad thing. This is a debate about democracy. Democracy is government of the people, by the people, for the people. And I think it's a very healthy thing for us all, politicians, to discuss about what's happening with our peoples because we have a responsibility to our countries. But first of all, we have a responsibility to Europe. And this responsibility was the source of tonight's debate and I believe that this should be welcomed because the future of Europe relies on dialogue. I think uh, we're defending democracy because democracy, you know, many of our countries, Romania has the bad uh, area, uh, my country, Austria has a very bad uh, past. Many of the countries in European Union have a very bad past. We know what it means to be democratic or non-democratic. And we know how dangerous it is to deviate from the democratic way. And uh, of course, first, it is small steps. But uh, finally, it may lead also to stronger steps. And that's very, very dangerous. Deficit in respect to, to uh, uh, fundamental rights and fundamental freedoms is as such serious as breaching the stability and the growth pact. We are always, every day, talking in this parliament and in the European institutions about the euro crisis and about uh, uh, the stability and growth pact, while I think uh, as such important is also our democratic values and our democratic principles uh, in the European Union. And it should be a very bad thing to turn our back uh, on, uh, on this uh, to turn our back on the basis of why this union uh, has been uh, uh, created. I would tell you that based on uh, economic emergency in Romania, a European country, the democracy has been suspended. I have learned from history that many times democracy has been suspended for important things. I think it's a big danger for us as a European country and I think we should not accept this explanation. And uh, I came here to present these facts, to defend the people in the streets who have been unjustly accused of protesting for a salary or for a pension. All these matters require a detailed discussion. And I'm not sure we'll be able to fully accomplish that here and now. There are, however, obvious facts, and uh, I must say, and th this is something that even the government admits, these protests are spontaneous, they have not been organized by the political opposition, and these protests are just the tip of the iceberg. The discontent, the major, profound, deep discontent that exists in Romanian society today is visible in any sociological research, in any opinion poll, uh, that is being made. The protesters are not inspired politically and they are not controlled by political parties. The protests express the deepening gap between the population and the ruling class. After 2004, Romania has led a policy which has discredited the rule of law. All institutions, apart from the presidency, have been gradually compromised. They have been made to serve certain political parties under 
pretexts which might have looked correct at some point one after the other the, the institutions of the state the parliament the justice the army the police the local administration one of the recurrent uh, problems which is uh, expressed by public discontent uh, refers to electoral fraud in the last opinion poll that we made in uh, 2010 this is the latest data that i have 80 percent of romanians thought that fraud is widespread during uh, elections in our country years before the number of people who believed that was of 63 percent so there's quite an increase but this does not talk about a, a reality that can be proven from a legal juridical point of view rather it talks about a state of mind a state of discontent in romania we can see that the situation as corruption stands in Romania is particularly serious. In the corruption perception index, we are almost last level place in Europe. We have other studies, the global barometer about corruption uh, shows that in Romania corruption is endemic from local administration to central administration, from uh, direct services to uh, decisions uh, regarding public resources. The state is at war with itself. The government destroys the foundations of the state from within. It affects the social fabric. Public employees are the enemies of private employees, although the structure of the economy is mixed, of course. Pensioners are the enemies of employees in general although they were, of course, former employees. Professors and doctors are the enemies of any reform in general. Banks, oil companies, pharmaceutical companies, and so on, are the enemies of the economy. This attitude is not only counterproductive for the economy, but it represents a danger to the fra fragile backbone of the Romanian democracy. We want to trust politicians. We want to trust democracy. We want to trust public institutions, but don't make it so hard on us. I have witnessed a little miracle in Piazza Universitatsi. People came together from uh, students, activists, people who were pensioners, retired people, uh, people who worked in the corporations, They're having a lot of money. They all came together and they sang together because it's not that simple to say, we don't want the current government to go. Of course we want the current government to go. This is an immediate and necessary change.